This is Minister Paul out here in Northern California. I'm going to make another video. Um, and then I think I'm going to sign off for a while. My YouTube is acting really crazy. Signing me out and everybody knows what it's doing. Unsubbing me from everybody. Giving me um, errors uh, when I get a comment. Comments disappearing, etc. But, uh, but aside from all that, the messages are going out. Regardless, the truth is going out. So what I did was, um, while waiting for some family to come over, I, I spent about an hour examining, you know, what's going on in the world on both sides. And what I found is a huge division. A very huge division among the Christians, among the YouTubers, among people on Facebook, among brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, and the greatest division was among people who made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior and those who don't even believe he exists. The division, I just, I saw it like in my mind, this, this Grand Canyon divide, a great divide, amen, a great divide just popped in my spirit, a great divide, just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'll keep this short because this video is moving like just like that just whatever you see look at and here's the United States looks like a div division line going right down to to San Diego, Diego and to Mexico but I, I saw a picture kind of like this in my mind just now in real time and it was getting wider and wider and wider and the believers in Christ Jesus who are being obedient to what he says today in this word were on this side. And those who were mocking and scoffing him year after year after year after year all over the world, not just YouTube and Facebook. They were getting colder and darker scriptural reference for this, the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of Mark and the words of Jesus Christ and the Gospel of John. The book of the Revelation. And so it became so disheartening to me. I'm like, you know, we got to go through a lot. Because I, I'm, I'm sold out 100% to follow Jesus unto death. <clears throat> unto death. Because my rewards are stored up in heaven, not this world. And so I asked the Lord, you know, Lord. What What is it that you'd have me say to the people today? I've told you how much, I've told all the people I can, year after year after year, how much you've blessed me, how much you've protected me. I have a section of like 50 different testimonies, how good you are, how faithful you are, how just you are. I've showed how we can operate in the prophetic and actually feel your presence. We've praised you, we've worshiped you. What can I have them to say today? Because it seems like they are not listening. Matter of fact, more and more people are just jumping to the other side. And this is the Lord's response. I'm going to upload this. I will be offline uh, this weekend with family. Because you can't stop these prophecies in this Bible. Even if you don't believe in God. Even if you don't believe in a creator. Even if you don't believe that in Jesus Christ rose again and he's coming back again. Even if you don't believe in any of that. That will not stop it from happening. And happening quickly. So the Lord gave me this. Joshua 24, 15. I'm going to read it. And we will be in prayer this weekend. You can send us prayer requests. I'll put a link to prayer requests. Uh, we will spend in alone time with family until Monday. Offline. Um, as I think the Lord would want it. Um, because this is the message the Lord gave me. Joshua 24, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day, today, May 17th, 2014, at 11.19 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, whom you will serve. No, in other words, what the Lord was saying is, you better pick your side. I mean, honestly, because you're going to have to stand. And the, the, the side on the other divide, the side on the other divide is going to fall into this pit. And this side is going to stand 
in righteousness and holiness and truth. And all these people are into lies and deception and it's getting wider and wider. This side's going to fall into the pit and this side on the left over here that chose life and the words of Christ to abide by, they're going to rise up out of this world. And the day to choose sides is slowly coming to an end. No one knows exactly when, but we sure feel it and we sense it. How, how could people say I sense it in my spirit? And they're like, how could you? Well, because I have the Holy Spirit in me, which is actually the spirit of God in me. That's how. And so, and, and it says in closing, whether the gods your father served, which were false gods and idols. And I think I felt the, the whole room just shake a little bit right now. I'm not kidding you. Like an earthquake. We did get hit with the 5.9 here last year. That were on the other side of the flood. That's talking, see, it's talking about when Noah was building the ark and they laughed at him. Look at Noah building an ark. Him and then only eight people on his ark survived. Everyone else fell into the pit. And then Jesus said, as in the days of Noah, and, 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 can I just reach one person today that'll give their heart to Jesus and come over to our side? You're on the side that's going to fall into the pit. There's no help for you other than in Jesus Christ. No, none other but Jesus. I am feeling a little rocking. I think that's a pre-indicator. In the, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. See, you're, you're dwelling on the wrong side. But as for me, in my house, we will serve the Lord. And you know what? That's our stance today. You're welcome to come over and get prayer. I'll put a link. But you run it. I mean, it, it speaks alone. I don't have to add to it. 